In this video, I started out with $0, a truck, and this abandoned gold mine. And now I have the challenge of making it profitable and hopefully not going broke. Will I be able to do it? Stay tuned to find out. And if you guys enjoy content like this and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and drop in a like helps too. Anyway, let's go find some gold. Well, boys, it's another day, another dollar back out here at the gold mine. And we have got $500,000 to our name. Now, uh, that's went down a little bit this last episode. I'll explain why in a minute. But one of our main issues right now is out here in the cut. There is not a whole lot of ground left. We got this pile, which is only really a couple loads. We've got what's left back here, which is going to end up being a pretty small pile. And then we have a pretty decent pile right here. Now, even though this looks like quite a bit, it really isn't going to last us that long. Now, one of our current options is to move the cut back. We have a little bit more land back towards that hill right back there that we can expand the cut out to. But we have done some testing out here and it's probably not going to work very well. Our tests have come back not great at all so at this point it's looking like at some time here in the near future we're gonna have to move claims so that is why over the last two weeks i have invested over two hundred thousand dollars in the ultimate gold exploration rig of sorts i'm not too sure what to call it yet anyway this whole setup is basically so we can get into the back country test out new untouched claims without the need to bring up tons and tons of big equipment now to start it off back here we got a john deere 50g small little excavator next up we got one of these bucket haulers i'm not sure exactly what you call them if you guys know the exact name for them put it down in the comments and then in the container there's fuel a sluice box generator pump all sorts of little extra things so we can uh, actually test to see if there's gold there a fully decked out atv so we can uh, really get back and explore the back country and then towing all this is a truck specifically built to do this a chevy k50 on full airbag and coilover suspension with massive 42 inch tires speed locks massive front bumper flatbed and fuel tank this thing is the ultimate exploration rig so we're going to be taking this up into a claim that is untouched yet one of the very few untouched claims out here in yukon and we're going to go test that there's some gold out there we have gotten permission to test it but if we do find gold there uh the claim comes at a very high price but that's why it's got to get tested first now since we're leaving for the next two days at the very least here uh the plant is gonna be shut down i got no one else to run it here at the moment so it looks like we're not gonna be making any money for the next couple of days if anything we're just gonna be spending it so our goal right now is to get on the back side of this mountain there's supposed to be a whole river running through that way and from what i've heard it's supposed to have crazy amounts of gold i also just noticed that my entire trailer is sitting on one axle i'm sure that's safe i've also got the truck loaded up with a bunch of camping supplies i was hoping to to, uh toss a little camper part on this trailer but uh we honestly filled it up with all the equipment so that wasn't really an option and this was about the biggest trailer i could possibly get and if we need to go through any back country this is honestly a little too big but uh with the bigger truck it should be able to manage so this new claim that we're gonna go stake out is roughly an hour to an hour and a half away from the current claim so if we end up moving it's definitely gonna be one heck of a trek to uh get out here not to mention there's also a massive mountain we have to go up so there's definitely going to be a lot of work involved but i'm hoping the gold's good out here now normally it's a pretty good idea to at least be on the side or the bottom of a mountain for uh a claim but you look even at the top of this little mountain we're still pretty much at the bottom so i'm pretty sure this was the road i was looking for here it runs along the river all right well this is where the road pretty much ends unless you want to go that way or a little bit that way which there is a big mine out there i think it's a coal mine or something not too sure but if we want to go explore the uh claim or at least figure out exactly where it is we gotta go that way that's gonna require the quad now to unload this quad uh i don't have ramps big enough so i gotta do something else and if i can just unload this thing nice and carefully swing it around lift that back up and back down all right we got it anyway as i was saying there's only one way to unload this quad you gotta lift this thing as high as it can go and position the bucket just about right grab some chains and we'll get that uh quad off of there we just basically lift it off of there and there we go look at that quads off the trailer so as far as i know right up here there should be a big old river and yep there is now to get to this claim we gotta go across it which this place is not gonna be easy to get to anyways what we're looking for here is a little piece of red fence that's basically 
actually a corner post of the uh claim and i think i see one right here okay there it is so there's four of these this is number one and basically it just tells us the general outline of the claim without having to look at uh certain drawn out maps now if we follow this along here we should see the next one and there is number two okay we're looking for number three now there is a road running through here uh i would have took it but where this one crosses the uh river it's a lot more washed out and the bridge got completely washed out so until we can get that fixed we're pretty much cut off other than that other way but you still got to go through the river it's just less uh steep per se oh there's number four okay i just ran into it that's three now we gotta look for number four which should be back down by the river again so from the maps i was looking at this makes a lot more sense here uh it looks like the claim runs around this mountain we kind of have a little bit of the mountain which is honestly if we're gonna set up a uh mine out here where we might put the uh wash plant i am looking for the other piece of red fence here and i can't seem to find it oh yeah and there's the washed out bridge and there's the piece of red fence okay there we go so this gives us a better general outline of the claim now i just got to figure out where we're going to start testing and how in the heck i'm going to get equipment across because this should be fun okay so my current issue here is the river i don't know how the heck we're going to get across here i'm trying to see if there's like a lowest or i guess a highest point per se that we can get across here and it looks like surprisingly enough right by the waterfall here this is going to be the easiest spot to cross okay everything's loaded up strapped back down let's uh attempt to do this i don't know how this is gonna go we got the power of the uh, 12 valve cummins in here we should be okay that's what i'm going with anyway all right i want to try hit this straight on but we're not going to have too much of an angle and have a chance of tipping oh boy this is a bad idea this is a real bad idea oh we're already bottoming out the trailer big time all oh, these rocks aren't helping oh my poor gooseneck and this is where we are at not a good situation at all dang i'm kind of screwed here at the moment ah uh, i guess i can use the winch or if i can try and back up a little bit oh man Man, this is a really sucky situation the trailer is now a little bit jackknifed oh boy this is getting worse i think my only way to actually get out of this is go into the river slightly oh don't tip on me don't tip on me oh it's sliding in it's sliding in just perfect <laughs> Oh, this is so sketchy and I am not a fan of it. So now we are literally driving down the river to get the heck out of here. I'm going to try go up on this spot. Oh boy, we're popping wheelies. I'm going to try go up on this spot because it looks like it's the best. All right, come on, Cummins. Don't fail me now. We're in low range. I'm trying to do it. But there's a lot of rock on here and it's not making it very easy. We've almost got it. Oh, oh, I think we got it. I think we're across. Oh, okay. That's a nice reminder that I do not want to do that again. I might just have to get a helicopter to come pick me up after we're done out here because yeah, this is rough. Okay, so we're going to one of the lower spots on the claim here, just because I think that's going to be the best spot to test. And all this down through here is kind of a channel. Probably at one point, it was where a massive river flowed. So we're going to see if there's actually anything out here. We just got to get this dang thing off the trailer again, which uh, takes a little bit of practice. And then I think I'm going to use the blade to uh, go ahead and clear out some of this brush because there's just so much of it through here. And that'll do it. Well, let's try to use my excavator like a dozer and move some brush. It's just little stuff. It should be pretty easy. Well, here we are. This is the spot I got cleaned out. It's uh, not terribly big, but should be just enough for a test area. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I was thinking about taking down the few trees that are in this little spot, but uh, I guess it should be fine for now. Now, here's where our next issue comes into play here. So you might notice uh, there's no water super, super close to us anymore. There's the river just over there, so we're going to have to run a serious amount of pipe just to be able to uh, run the sluice. So I'm going to set it up in this corner because when I eventually do get pay dirt, I want to be able to run on it and minus running the pipe that should do it so this is the new sluice we got a pump here we got a generator for the pump dug a little settling pond here and spruced it up with some rocks i'm just kidding that's just part of the mod it kind of just came this way anyways the only thing that's left to do is run the pipe down to the river there it should be pretty easy now the reason why i set it up here instead of way down by the river is this is way more central in the claim because this is not the only test spot we're making we're testing all the way down across there all the way down across there and then back up that way which once we start moving back up that way we'll get this thing down by the river like now for me it's pretty easy to uh pack back up and move down the river okay so i got a couple coils of pipe on there i just gotta watch my footage i got it uh stringing out behind the atv here oh 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 that's that's the river i slow down all right we'll drop it there and we should be good so our mini wash plant here is all set up ready to go all it needs is some material but it's already starting to get to the end of the day here so i'm gonna probably set up some camp check it out tell me that that is not the most baller camp you've ever seen out in the middle of the yukon it would have been nice to actually
actually have somewhere decent to sleep, but this is where it's going to have to work. Although I do need one more thing. Ember. Firewood. Some days you just got to use what you have. This is how I'm transporting my firewood. Okay, well, that should do it, I hope. I got camp set up. Testing wash plants all ready to go. I got to shut off the lights on my truck because I don't want my battery to die. That would suck, especially out here. I guess I have... I have generators. I'll be fine. Even still, though, better to be safe than sorry. That and I gotta figure out some sort of a new setup here for the uh, gooseneck. It's, yeah, that's uh, quite the angle. Anyways, I'm really hoping this new claim pans out, no pun intended, because it looks very promising, and from the things I've heard, it should be. However, this claim, as I said before, it comes with a very steep price tag. Like, I'm talking massive. So if we want to be able to buy this, if everything turns out good, we're gonna have to get back to my main mine and really hope it pays out good. Although we do have a bunch of concentrates stacked up so we might be okay anyways hope you all enjoyed subscribe and goodbye